Welcome back. Turning to money, Americans have three extra days this year to file our taxes. Tax day is going to be extended until Tuesday, April 18th. But procrastinating, it can cost you more than 168 million individual tax returns are expected by this year's deadline. And local financial professional Ali Hashemian from Kinetic Financial is joining us with five reasons that you should file early. Good morning, Ali. Good morning. How are you? I am great. I am not excited ever about tax season, so I'm hoping that you can give me some tips and some tricks. And uh, tell me first off, what is the benefit of filing early? Because I've kind of just been sitting around, you know, waiting to get on top of that. That's a, that's a good question. There's actually a number of different benefits to filing early. Maybe the biggest one is the fact that a lot of people are owed a refund if they overpaid anything in their taxes throughout the year, whether they did excess withholdings or if they had made quarterly estimated payments. A uh, lot of filers will actually get a refund. And so getting that refund early uh, so that you can earn interest on it or earn gains on it is a great benefit. If you do owe taxes because you underpaid throughout the year, having more time to come up with the right place to get that money is important so that you're not uh, depleting assets or running out of emergency funds. I think one of the other main things is the earlier you file, the less chance you have of making mistakes because you have more time to review it. So that would be a big, big reason why. Uh, I'd say the fourth reason why people should consider filing early is just it gets more expensive. Uh, whether you're working with a tax professional or you're doing it yourself online, uh, at the last minute, a lot of these tax professionals or these online softwares will actually charge you more for that same tax return. But the last reason why is one that most people don't think about, which is identity theft. You know, there's a lot of hackers out there today. Cybersecurity is becoming a bigger and bigger issue. And I think it's in people's best interest to try and file their taxes at a time when not everybody is trying to file their taxes. You know, when you get to the last couple of weeks before the filing deadline, there's a lot a of transactions happening electronically, crazy. a lot of social security numbers flying around online, mm -hmm. and that's primary fishing season. And when I say fishing, I'm not talking about the sport fishing, I'm talking about cybersecurity <laughs> fishing where they're trying to steal your identity. So I think right. those are probably the five main reasons why people may want to consider filing early this year. I'm the type that kind of wants to like break even. I don't really want a refund from the government because I don't like giving Uncle Sam a free, an interest-free loan, but I also don't want to underpay and then be penalized. You've told us how filing early can help save us some money, but what about those of us here in California? We may have already had some, or paid our taxes, or we had some relief from those stimulus checks. Now that the IRS is saying that's not going to be taxable income, is it safe to go ahead and file those? It's hard to say. It really depends on your individual situation. I can tell you that almost nobody is going to break even exactly, although that's a great goal and a great strategy. It's almost impossible to calculate your taxes exactly so that you pay the exact amount and come filing. You don't owe anything okay. and you don't get anything back. Uh, so as much as you might try to do that, it's very difficult to actually accomplish that task. Well, I appreciate you supporting my lofty goal over here. Ali, we're going to have to end this short because President Biden is just about to speak. But thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Now we are going to go live to President Biden in Poland ahead of the one year mark of the war there in Ukraine. Let's go live to Warsaw now where the president is making his speech. Oh, we have All to right. stall. He's we're not still, just, he yes. still is heading to the podium. Again, as you said, we're nearing this historic uh, one-year mark for the war in Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, Vladimir Putin responding to the president's historic visit uh, to Ukraine to meet with Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, got real reprisal from Vladimir Putin, doubling down on the war effort, not backing down at all. Yeah. Um, a lot of pomp and circumstance in Poland, a very critical, consequential partner to the U.S. now more than ever. And this really shows a 